whatever, right? We don't have any plan, we're just like... All right, so good morning, gents. Mid-range rifle, lower range area, shoot, maneuver, communicate, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to start you guys off with a stress shoot today because this is one of those courses where you're kind of expected to understand safety and professionalism with your firearm, right? And then we're going to assess how you attack these pieces of cover and concealment. And then we're going to layer on top of that, teaching you some good tips and tricks. Then we'll come back later, compare your times, and I guarantee you everybody's going to get better. So come on up, let's show you what we got. Go! right that's hard on hard so he's gonna bolster that position up with his hand and it's nice it's winter you got your glove so it's a little more soft contact most of you guys did that um, the bipod guys you were kind of just putting your bipod on it so if I've got when I've got the bipod I like to treat it as like a pool cue so I think I saw you do it a little bit sort of put your hand underneath that bipod just like you were gonna shoot a pool stick same exact concept just so it's not hard on hard Especially on a car with snow. It's like as slick as it could get almost, unless it's ice. We're going to repetition you guys to death. So we're going to have half of you go on these cones, half of you go on those cones. I'll be over here with you. Braden will be over there with you. We'll tell you to come up, move. We'll be at the black barrier. You roll up, get into that perfect locked in position. And we're going to shoot two rounds. What I would love is... Of course, you're going to hit the first one because you're going to take your time getting to a good position. I want your reticle to not move off the target. You know what I'm saying? So you're in such a locked in position and we're only at 115 or whatever that oh, is, the yeah. far one. So it's not like the target's 500 yards away. So about C zone size. If your reticle stays on the target, that means you got a really, really squared away position. Guys, your reticle will tell you everything you need to know about your standing, your kneeling, your prone, your barrier work. That's all you need. You don't even need us. I'm just kidding, you need us. Hey, my name's Joe. Uh, we just finished up the first part of the mid-range rifle course. Uh, one of the big takeaways was fitness is a really big component uh, for pretty much anything. Uh, we were moving a lot and the impact of the heart rate 
on just marksmanship, for example, was very distinct. So one of my big takeaways is got to work on cardio. I'm Ethan. I took the mid-range rifle course today with Devin and Braden. Uh, the course was fantastic. Um, learned a lot from these professionals. Still had a good time doing it. Uh, some key takeaways for me was kind of getting the right mindset um, for a stressful shooting situation. Um, just focusing on what needs to get done under stress. Uh, both Braden and Devin were really professional and um, they, they push you to the limits, but it's in a good way. And I, I took a lot away from a, the class today. Uh, my name's Rick Brennan. Uh, I uh, live in Provo, Utah. Uh, I'm out here with uh, Fieldcraft. I did uh, the, the first part of the uh, mid range rifle course with uh, Devin. I uh, learned a lot. Uh, you really uh, pressed home uh, how to get a stable shooting position. Uh, that's something that uh, I haven't done a lot of shooting, moving, communicating, and, and, and that. So uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, next time they have their one of these courses, uh, you should come out. All right, so we should have about 45 minutes left. We're going to do a little shoot and maneuver. Have you guys done any of that before? So one thing we've been doing all day long is moving up and down range while our buddies are down range and maintaining muzzle awareness, right? Manipulating the safety, all that kind of good stuff. We're doing that for a reason, to make sure everybody was safe. So shoot and maneuver. We're going to be maneuvering right to left and left to right on these pieces of cover and concealment while <clears throat> shooting the bad guy targets. And we're gonna do it with a teammate. That's why we always say we want you to be the 100 to 600 guy. Anybody could be a badass with these 50 and in. Bah, 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 shooting all sexy on Instagram, right? High speed. That was awesome, shooting paper targets. But what sets you apart with these systems is being able to stretch it out. Even a 5.56, five, you guys are going to go up there and you're all going to hit 800 yards. Well, most of you. <laughs> I shouldn't say all of them. Most of you. Your, your rifles are all capable of it for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching our YouTube video. We extremely appreciate all of your support. Please be sure to like the video, comment if you want to, maybe talk about how funny Isaac is, how good of a shooter I am, or these teeth. <laughs> these are real, they aren't, they aren't veneers. They aren't Not veneers. plastic. No. <laughs> Anyways, yes, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, merch, right? So we've got some Tactical Cowboy merch, makes you a way, way better shooter, also makes you look cool, and you're more of a tactician when you get the TCTS merch. So all of that stuff's gonna be in the notes below the video. Again, like, subscribe, merch. We truly appreciate you guys. Come train with us in Utah, or we'll come out to you.